What is up team? Trifunctional here. How are you doing today? I'm doing just fine. Uh, welcome back to the Dark Craft series. And uh, quite a bit has changed since the last episode. Uh, you may have noticed that uh, there wasn't an episode two days ago when there should have been a Darkcraft episode. That is because I had some uh, uh, some technical difficulties, you could say. Uh, I actually did a, a collab, a collaborative episode with uh, Easy Kill here and with uh, Great White. It was a lot of fun. We went and found a fortress. Uh, we had a race to be see who could find a, a blaze rod first. Uh, so we got plenty of blaze rods uh, so that we can get into potion making in the near future. But unfortunately, when I thought I had hit record at the beginning of the episode, uh, apparently I didn't hit it correctly. It's a two-button combo using shadow play. It's alt F9. So apparently I must have uh, hit it too quick or something. It didn't start recording. So then when I thought I was recording, I was not. And then when I thought I was stopping the recording, I actually had started a recording. So I recorded the parts that I didn't think I was recording, and I didn't record the parts that I thought I was recording. Uh, so I do have a few highlights from that that I'll show in just a brief moment from a few funny things that happened when we didn't think we were recording. And then uh, we'll also do a little bit of building today as well. I did want to show you this. Uh, we worked on this yesterday before the episode. Uh, the three of us came in here and started working on the Nether Hub. And then Great White and I got on and streamed on Twitch last night and uh, expanded the, the Nether Hub a little bit, did a little bit more work on it. Uh, so we do have a portal that goes to our spawn location now. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of liking the way that the Nether Hub is looking. Uh, we got the half slabs on the floor so we don't have to worry about any spawns in here. Uh, we did half slabs on the ceiling. Oh, that's the other thing that has changed. Uh, I'm actually using B-Dub's texture pack now. So you'll notice that the textures uh, look slightly different from uh, the way they have so far in the series. Uh, and I'll post uh, a link down in the description to uh, B-Dub's texture pack as well so that you can check it out if you'd like to download it for yourself. Um, I'll also make sure to post a link down in the description for Great White's channel and Easy Kill Here's channels. Uh, that way you can see the uh, collaborative episode that we did uh, a couple of days ago from their perspectives, because it was a lot of fun. Uh, now, I uh, do have a little bit of a, a crafting area in our nether hub, because we were crafting up a whole bunch of nether bricks for uh, our decorating that we are doing in here. And as far as the location, just down this ladder is where our uh, nether portal had spawned originally. We just came up a little bit so that we could have the safety of being uh, enclosed in the, the nether rack. We're just below the, uh, below the bedrock ceiling in the nether. And so we do also have a portal that goes to our XP grinder as well. So uh, quite useful having our, uh, our nether hub. And this will expand in the future as we uh, make more projects around the area, have more locations to travel to, we will set up more portals in our XP grinder. Now, uh, another thing that, uh, that you'll see in just a little bit is uh, there was uh, an incident where I uh, accidentally shot Easy Kill here in the head with an arrow, and all that he had on him was an axe. Uh, and so <laughs> I told him that I was keeping his axe as a trophy, so I made a little bit of a shrine here for him. Uh, easy kills axe and trifunctional shot him in the head <laughs> and we might move that trophy to uh, a, a room or uh, something that we might put together for ourselves in the future as well if we want uh, to have a little area to store our items uh, now another cool thing that uh, great white setup uh, is a little uh, grid here so that we can oop, looks like a spider came over the wall and unfortunate for him I have Bane of Arthropods 4. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so uh, this is a, a good way to discuss the uh, uh, crafting recipes. I uh, just place the items up uh, on this grid here using item frames. I thought that was a clever idea. Uh, we all also, or we also upgraded our server to uh, 1.12 as well. So, oh, the uh, recipe book wasn't showing up there. It was yesterday, but. 
there's supposed to be an icon for a recipe book right here. Uh, that's why when I click there, it does bring up the, the recipe book, uh, which makes crafting a lot easier. It shows you what items you have, and if you click on it, it puts those items into the... Uh, into the crafting menu to make crafting that much easier, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, but yes, uh, so we are on 1.12, and unfortunately that means no Optifine for us at the moment, because Optifine hasn't updated quite yet. And so that do means no dynamic lighting, which means the carrying around of the lava buckets for lighting uh, that we were using earlier uh, isn't happening or isn't working at the moment. Uh, until we do get an update for Optifine, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, we're doing uh, pretty well as far as equipment, so the carrying around the lava buckets for light isn't as big of a deal at the moment. Now, this is also the future place for a cow farm, I believe. That's something that, uh, that Great White was working on. Now, as far as what we're going to work on today, uh, we're going to build a micro farm for... Uh, it'll work for wheat, carrots, uh, potatoes, or beetroot, uh, and it's nice and compact. Uh, I have a little bit of an area prepared right here. It'll fit right in this uh, be five deep by four tall by three wide area. And so I'm going to go ahead and get to building this. And while I build this, I'll go ahead and play those uh, clips from the uh, collab session yesterday so you can enjoy those. And I'll bring you back and show you what I have built. <laughs> I've cut my recording. Me too. I cut it when you said cut. Oh, I just turned into a place. Stop spot. there. That's a bad idea. <laughs> oh, God. Get out of there. Did you get out of there? I did. I'm behind you. You're looking good, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. I'm on fire. Help me, Tom Cruise. Help me out, Robin Frey! Oh, yes. I remember this dangly bit. <laughs> dangly bit. Uh huh. They're hard to forget sometimes. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. Did you jump? Nearly. Ah! What? <laughs> Look at you. I just what? jumped, and he's like, and pillar, and we pull her out, <laughs> pull her out to a safe distance, and now we jump. <laughs> oh, you got to if you jump. Hold on, let me get down there with you guys. <laughs> you successfully got down. <laughs> Alright, perfect. So, we'll see you guys back at base. Alright, see ya. <laughs> Bye! Um, where are you? I'm gonna pick a fight. Are you just... Are you just gonna kill yourself? Nope! You're gonna let the Enderman do it for you? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Um, Alright, I'm, I'm at base. What took you so long? <laughs> you have a good one, killers. Take it easy. <laughs> Make sure to snipe that subscribe button, backstab the like button. Aw, yeah. <laughs> yes, have a good one, guys. Ex outro. <laughs> it's his intro. Anyways, have a good one, guys. Oh. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> I was, I was just chucking dirt. That's all I was doing in that outro. Baby Holy crap! Just, like duck and weave. They're so good at dodging arrows. More melons. Oh, yeah.
got a nice little pigman in the base. A little one? No, a big boy. Oh yeah, big boy? <laughs> weird. <laughs> You're weird. I know. Oh, I'm like a massacre. I am death incarnate. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was recording that! <laughs> I wish I was recording that too! <laughs> Gosh, that's, that means each one of you have killed me once this, today. That's amazing. Oh, All I had on me was an axe. That was it. Oh, it's my axe now. Yeah, I know. It's my trophy. I'm going to hang it up in the it's base. your trophy? Yeah. Your, your easy kill trophy? Right. <laughs> uh, that's funny. And welcome back, team. So I got the micro farm put together. Now this is Impulse SV's micro farm design, and I'll certainly make sure to put a link to the tutorial uh, in the description as well if you want to build one of these in your own world. And I've got it labeled there, micro farm. That way the other guys know when they log into the server, and they're like, hey, what is this contraption? They know. It's a micro farm. Anyways, so I have the three dispensers all aimed at this uh, plot of, uh, of tilled land. And I have bone meal in all three dispensers, so there's a fast clock behind the, the wall here. When I flip this lever, uh, these dispensers spit out bone meal really fast, and so I can just go up and uh, hold down right click with the seeds that are in my hand, and we should just be constantly producing wheat over and over because the lighting update with it being dark in there from this half slab, uh, it's going to cause the uh, the wheat that grows up from the bone meal to pop off and go into our inventory right away. Our inventory will also fill up with seeds right away because of it, and we'll just be constantly producing wheat. Uh, and I do hope that you enjoyed the, the clips from the other day with our, our collab project. Sorry that I, uh, that I missed out on uh, getting a video produced and getting the, the rest of the footage. Uh, from the uh, the collab, uh, it was a lot of fun, and I do recommend that you check out uh, Great White and uh, Easy Kill Here's versions uh, or their perspectives of the video, because uh, it was a lot of fun with uh, with locating that uh, that fortress. And I'll make sure to be more careful in the future to uh, check that I actually am recording when I think I am. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, check out, make sure that this contraption is working for us. I haven't even tested it myself yet. Uh, so we'll flip the lever and go ahead and, oh, our inventory filled up with, okay, there we go. So yeah, so we're just uh, filling up with seeds and with wheat over and over and over again. And Impulse SV says that this produces like 450 uh, wheat per minute or something like that. And so it's uh, going to run through the, the bone meal that fast as well. But just in that short amount of time, I got uh, a stack and a quarter of wheat. So uh, this is going to be a nice uh, uh, addition to the uh, to the base, especially because we can use it for uh, like carrots as well, carrots, potatoes, and beetroot. Uh, and I will be able to use the wheat that we get for animals, like for the the cow farm that Great White was working on. And we'll be also be able to use the uh, the carrots or the, the bread we make from wheat for uh, villager breeding, which we're going to get into in the near future as well. But I want to thank you so much for uh, for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, uh, make sure to hit that like button for me. I certainly appreciate it, and it helps me out quite a bit. Uh, if you're new and you're, you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you can see when my future content does come out. Uh, but I hope you all have a, a great rest of your day, and I will catch you on the flip side.